Nelson Mandela. We don't Plenty more singing across Cornwall this weekend as the county hosts the International Male Choral Festival. Headlining this year are the Duke of Cornwall singers from St Stithian. Nelson Mandela. We don't Plenty more singing across Cornwall this weekend as the county hosts the International Male Choral Festival. Headlining this year are the Duke of Cornwall singers from St Stithian's Boys College. Not here but in South Africa. And a group of 16 or so choir have come to join us. Let's introduce some of them to you. First of all, Kevin Walker uh, from one of the staff at uh, the school there. And I'm, I'm dying to know about um, the history of why you are called the St Stithians uh, Boys College. Uh, it's got to have a link to Cornwall. It does indeed. Thanks so much, Naomi. Um, our college was founded by two Cornishmen, uh, the one being... Uh, Mr. Collins from the village of Stithians and he met up with Mr. Mount Stevens down in Falmouth and together the two of them traveled to South Africa. Actually they were meant to board at Plymouth for America but at the last minute they changed their destination and they landed up in Cape Town and from there made their way up to Joburg and and they'd made their money out of mining and so put together a trust to form a Methodist boys school and that finally reached fruition in about 1953 when our doors opened. Indeed. But introduce us to some of the singers you've got well, here today. Here I've got Michlali Jia, who is our, uh, he's one of our senior pupils, and he is the head of the choir, um, the student leader, and the choir falls under the direction of my colleague here, Yvette Skuman. Why do you love singing? <laughs> oh, I, I've been singing my whole life. Um, it's, I think, I love creating music, and God's given me the talent of using my voice. So I would just like to share that gift with everyone else. And I think like music is such a powerful thing because it's a language that everyone understands and that everyone feels. Yeah. So that's why I love singing. Yeah. And um, obviously you're a boys choir, so you all take the different singing parts. What part do you sing? I sing bass. You sing bass. I can probably guess that actually from your, your lilting voice this morning. <laughs> um, and that's quite a, a big thing, isn't it, for, for chaps your age? Because you're about 17, aren't you? Yes. So to be singing down deep in bass, it's only a few years since your voice broke, I would imagine. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. So is, is it quite tricky or did you just find yourself down there and you thought, oh, this is where I'm going to no, sing? No, actually I started in first tenor. And then I just travelled down and then got to base. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant stuff. You've had a wonderful time already. You've been to London. Um, Bath. And Bath as well. You've yes. had a great time. You're now in Cornwall singing all over the place. Um, and what message would you give out to any of our young people who are wondering whether to keep going with their singing? I say trust yourself, trust your voice. There's a reason why you have it. Keep on singing, keep on spreading love, keep on using your gifts. <laughs> something that you'd like to continue doing when you finish college yes yeah i personally myself i'm, I'm a musician i would like to create music but obviously i'm not going to really study music but i think that it's such an outlet especially in the world we live in sometimes it can become somewhat chaotic and you just need a healthy outlet which i think music is and i will just keep on playing i also play piano i'll keep on playing i'll keep on singing trying to do my bit and it's the myself. friendships as well don't you find when it yes. comes to choral singing oh with choral singing it's all about that the somewhat unity in singing all of us being able to create that one instrument our voice it's just a beautiful experience the memories i create with my brothers my brothers of saints yeah it's it's always amazing and i think i always carry those memories with me for the rest of my life do you do many of your songs in kind of Afrikaans or is it a mix of all kinds of music would you say? It is a mix but we do a lot of our traditional songs in Zulu, Tosa, Sisutu, just the South African languages because we like to still pay homage to where we come from. Yes yeah and that is why you've chosen this particular piece for us. Tell us what it is. Indeed it's the piece is called Asimbonanga um, which directly translates to we have not seen him. This is from a time in South Africa, our history, apartheid. Uh, 
and it's the people of color black people specifically uh, calling for mandela who was in prison on robin island um asking for him to come back to save them to free them from this tragic time that they're experiencing so you'll hear asim Bonanga towards the end actually we're just saying we have not seen him. Here is, or here are rather, the Duke of Cornwall singers from St. Stithian's Boys College in South Africa. Yeah. 